Oh my golly, that son of mine has it like 68 degrees in the house. I am frozen. Okay, you guys. So, I don't believe in coincidences. I never really have. I always feel like there's something that calls our attention to it for a reason. And, you know, we, we have researched summer wells quite thoroughly. And what still haunts me is that in 2009, Rose Marie Bly, now you've heard the name Bly, Candace Bly, Summer's mother's sister. So it's Summer, Summer's mother. It's her sister goes missing. Just vanishes. Thin air. So a few things that strike me as strange with the case is that her husband and her were having difficulties. And from my understanding, three weeks after she's reported missing, he files start for divorce and gets full custody of the kids. Okay. Number two is that she was supposed to go five miles or so from her home. This is in August of 2009 to meet a cousin at a bar. Never shows. Five days later, they find her car about 30, 38 miles, something like that, from her original home. But then, rumor has it, rumor has it, that Grandma Candace, which would have been Rose Marie's mother, reported to a friend at the time, and the friend went online and talked about this. This, could, this is total hearsay. That Candace, Grandma Candace, reported that she had been in the area of Rose Marie Bly's car that time frame. And she didn't know it. I mean, it just gets so twisted. So I thought about it and I'm like, we really need to understand what Rose Marie Bly's story is. So this is more or less a personal reading on Rose Marie Bly. If you are new to the channel, welcome, welcome. I am freezing. <laughs> I am Danny, and you are on Level 11 Tarot. We are a true crime community here. We do true crime tarot. So if this is your first time, the cards do have specific meanings. But there's also a story when they connect. So bear with us, join us, and see if this is something that might interest you. And if you are returning, welcome home to all of you. I missed you. Um, I don't know where this video is going to play. I did a lot of recording over Christmas break. And so things that would come to my mind where I would want to know answers such as, what happened to Rosemary? I'm hoping you'll join me. And let's go ahead and get some cards on the board. Let's go ahead. We'll leave this burning for both Summer Wells and Aunt Rosemary there. And if you have headphones on, I highly recommend slipping them off or putting them on mute. As I hit this little brass bowl, we're going to get a little prayer here. Three times. Archangel Michael, Archangel Raphael, Archangel Gabriel, guide me towards the truth and only the truth for the highest good of Rose Marie Bly and Summer Moon Utah Wells. Show me the path of Rose Marie Bly. What has occurred? What is unseen? Archangel Michael, hold my hand as I walk through the tarot that you protect me from all spiritual and physical weapons that none should prosper against me. Archangel Raphael, thank you for the healing. Thank you, Archangel Gabriel. Please guide me that I may see clearly and be a conduit of the truth and nothing but the truth. Please show me what is hidden with Rosemary Bly. Show me what happened. Show me the story, the personal story. Thank you for the abundance. Thank you 
for the gifts. Thank you for the divine protection and the divine guidance. Almost forgot to say my thank yous. Whew. Okay, we're going to work our way in. So I want to start out here. I want to understand how she started the day that, that she ended up going missing and how she ended the, the day. So we're going to start and we're going to end. Okay, I'm going Osho Zentero. Let's get the deck cut, get the energies cleared. Ooh. Rosemary Bly, show me your story and thank you. All right, let's see what's going on. So we have fighting, suppression, the miser, intensity, healing, and innocent. Okay, so starting the day off, we have fighting. So arguments. Now remember, she is separating from her husband. So fighting. Doesn't mean it's with him, but there is fighting. With suppression. Something that is held back. Like this person's tied up in ropes and it's a 10. They're closing a cycle. The miser holding back. Holding something back. Holding on to something way too tight. And it gets terribly intense. Now I'm at the beginning of the day. It's about innocence. Jiminy Cricket. And then I've got healing. Innocence and healing. Something's being held back. Okay, so there's something about innocence and healing. Someone's protecting a child. Somebody's protecting a child somehow. All right, let me understand this better. What were we using? Osho Zentero. Okay, at the end of the day, I'm already perplexed because it's like there's this big fight overprotecting of the child. It's about children. End of the day now. It's in the evening. Okay. Anything else? Yeah, I felt energy. Ooh, my Lord. Okay, Rosemary Bly, let's see your story. So, we have mental blockages like crazy I mean somebody's going out of their mind because they're isolated from a situation they're feeling left out they're feeling like this can't be happening and their heart is breaking yep because they feel like they are the outsider. Like something is getting away from them. And they are being locked away from that. By the master manipulator. There's participation. There's energies here with this person. Oh my God. And they go to nothingness. Because of this Thunderbolt Island. I said island. It's a tower. Thunderbolt Island. Why did I say island? What does that mean, you guys? This Thunderbolt is the tower moment. This is the devastation. This is when it happened. Nothingness happened. 
somebody decided the timing was right, perfect. They had planned for this. They had waited for this moment and they plucked it so that they could get a new beginning. There was participation. This was somebody that was considered the master. This person was taken away. Rose was taken away and locked up by the master because she's experiencing sorrow and isolation and a mental imprisonment. And there's participation in this. And then after she's held for a while, Then we get the sad that the moment it's over. It's like the moment was chosen. So this person could have a new beginning. Okay. I'm trying to understand. I say this person, I can't tell whose energy this is that wants the new beginning. I don't know if it's Rose, but it's this isolation. Like they're, they've are they lost their mind. They feel isolated and locked out and they have sorrow. They feel like they're being locked away from the world by the master. Somebody that's controlling their world that has the key. There's people working together on that participation. Four energies. And it goes into five, nothingness. That's because the thunderbolt happens. It was divinely picked timing. It was planned for a new beginning. Holy crap. Let's get some lights here, Sarah. I want to understand a little bit of this situation. What is this isolation, please, first? Show me this isolation first. I'm being swayed back over here. Show me this healing that this, what was it all? Suppression and fighting intensity. Show me all this fighting with this miser. Somebody that's greedy. Queen of Pentacles about finances. And the seeds that have been planted. The time invested into this, this female. From the past, past energy. It's about the home life. Somebody's pissed about the time invested into this person. And she's getting away. Six of wands. She's going out. And we do know she was planning to go to a bar that night, but never made it. Four of cups. This has got me a little bit confused because it's like somebody's energy is focused on nothing, like loses interest in every single thing. And they're only focused on one cup. Obsession is what I'm getting. Because they feel stuck. But they make a decision. It's about these seeds that were planted in the past. With the two sixes. Hmm. Okay. I knew this was going to be a very complicated reading. Alright, so let's go with what we've got. See where we're going. 
Let me understand what happened before the bar. Ten of Wands, Burdens. Somebody trying to travel with burdens, packing up and leaving. Somebody wanting to travel. They, they, they pack on as light as they can. And they're making a go. In the dead of night. They're putting the burdens down. They're walking out. They have a new perspective. A new way to look at something. And we have the hanged man. And they get an epiphany. What is this epiphany? What is this hanged man? Please show me. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, this epiphany is a story. All right, let's grab the cards here. <sighs> it is about those seeds planted. I have this Knight of Pentacle, the dark horse that nobody knows about. Hidden seeds that are planted. Breadcrumbs left all behind. Of happiness. Soulmate. And they're going to win at all costs. Which is going to cost a lot of regret. Two fives. And it is ten swords in the back. The utmost betrayal. Because the king of pentacles, the father figure, with the dog and the house, laid this to rest like a little bird in a nest, is what I just heard. Good God. Let me see where Rosemary Bly is. Show me where her location is. I've got nine bowls being thrown forward. She's flying through the air. And I've got a trunk, a little trunk. I feel like she could be in a trunk, an old trunk. That is so bizarre. Is she in an old trunk? That would be bizarre. suit. We hear a font marriage. It's taking that ladder right up to the heavens. I ask if she was in a trunk. It just gives me a stair light, stairway. I said stair light. Interesting. It's so weird because this guy is just like laughing his butt off. It's creepy. What did he physically do to Rosemary Bly? What physically took place? That was some energy. Four of Pentacles. Holding her down. Holding on too tight. Hold it on too. Held too tightly? Are you saying that he held on too tightly? He held on too tightly, you guys is how he did it. Okay, now this will be interesting. Liar, cheater, thiefer. He held on too tight. 
and he has a knife too. Blackbird, crow, martyr, martyr, red rum. Yeah, I'm hearing it. The husband. Mm hmm. Yeah, I said the husband. I got the eight of ace of swords clarity. I got that staircase again, going up higher and higher and higher. Uh huh. Attic. Roses in the attic. Is Rose in the attic? A basement? What is this? Okay, what? I have the King of Wands, the Page of Wands, and the Queen of Cups. <coughs> Excuse me. A messenger. The husband had a, a watcher on her and got a message back of where she was. Somebody told him where she was. They were a messenger, and I believe they may have been female, even though there is no um, gender in the tarot. Intuitively, a female told the ex-husband, at the time husband, where she was. Yep, her travel, six of sword. He total he knew about her travel. Another female told him where she was. And betrayed her. So then what did he do? She was giving to two energies. I feel jealous. I feel very jealous. Yeah. What is this? Ace of Wands, Phallic. Nine of, okay, yeah, jealous, because he's defensive about this, this phallic, very jealous. Liar, cheater, thiefer is extremely jealous. He is the nine of wands, which is this defensive energy of feeling like the wounded soldier, the warrior that's been through the battle. And then you have that phallic symbol with the ace of wands. Show me what he did. So he followed her, I'm feeling. He followed her. He knew where she was going, and he followed her. Then what? Five of Pentacles. Waited till she was alone or got her alone. It's a lack mentality. It's feeling alone. He got her alone somehow. And took her by his vehicle with the chariot. And he had plans to win no matter what. So he took her away. Then what? He gets her in his vehicle. And what does he do? What about the vehicle? Red light, green light, stop. I feel like he hit her with a car. I feel like he chased her with a car. I don't know, you guys. I'm feeling he played red light, green light. He may have hit her with a car. Page of Pentacle balance knocked her off balance. What is this about hitting a car? What is this about hitting with a car or moving a car? That's so weird because I did that with Summer too. Look, may have kidnapped her, kept her in a mental prison. 
knocked her down with a car, maybe? I don't know. King of Wands. Mustang. Two of Cups. So, it, let me get a clarifier before I open my mouth. Show me Knight of Wands, please. Thank you. I'm getting in a very weird scenario. Like, I'm getting the same as I got on Summers. I'm getting this Knight of Wands type energy with a vehicle. And it's white. It's white. It's white. And it's somebody that's supposed to love her. It's supposed to be a projector. Where was Rose left? Where was Rose left? Somewhere close to home. Ten of Cups in reverse. Somewhere close to her children. I have the... Hmm. I still get those bowls. What does that bowl mean? Okay, let me understand this. Where is she... Close to home. Give me a sign, please. The wheel. It's weird. She has a tattoo of two cherries that are on her ankle, I believe. And for a split second, I thought those dice dangling from her neck were those cherries. So that's interesting. And the wheel. Balanced on the wheel. What does that mean? Where is Rose, Rose Marie Bly's body, please? There's a book with light bulbs, messages. And this person's studies are like they're walking a tightrope. Somewhere close by where they can spy on her location. Because it's a page of swords. They can see it. The person that did it can check that place anytime they want. It is nearby her home at the time. Mm -hmm. Close by her children when they were little. Like family property. Anything else out of this deck? If there are horses, could be nearby a barn. I'm getting a ranch or a barn. I'm getting horses. A lot about horses now. What is this horses? What is this barn? What is this barn? The fool, the new beginning. Yeah. Let's get some blessings on this, you guys. I feel like we need your blessings, lovelies. All right, so my take on this, well, we'll get blessings first, but I think you know where I'm going to say Eagle Communion. Bigger picture. Bigger picture. What does that mean? Show me. Show me the bigger picture with the cards, please. It's foggy. It's veiled. That's a challenge. It's hidden. That's what I get here, too. But the eagle can see it. 
How does the eagle see where Rose is? How can the eagle see where Rose is? Oh, jeez. That must be an answer and a half. Stone people, villagers, outside. Ancient healing, wisdom. Music, harmony. Tsunami, wake up call. Winter solstice, reflection, and ice. So it's in Wisconsin. It's in the cold area. I have that wake-up call. It could be by, it says tsunami. Um, there could be flooding in the spring there. It could have to do with roosters, farm, music, harmony. I just feel like this person wants us kept buried. Winter solstice reflection and iceberg submerged. And then stone people villages. It's like... This is buried. Definitely buried. I feel like it's on their own property. I do, I do. Let's get just two more blessing cards and then we're going to call it in the evening. Woo! We got two. There it is, the tree. It's by a tree outside on family property. When it tells me that he hung on too tight um, with the four of pentacles and we have the seven of swords, a layer, cheater, thief, it makes me feel like I can't breathe. I'm being choked. Um, it makes me feel like there has some transportation here after. So it feels like I get sidetracked. I switch vehicles. I am taking taken to another location, possibly a farm or a barn. There's horses. Um, I'm being taken there. And then I'm choked. And after that, I'm by a family tree where my kids come to visit maybe grandma or grandpa's or an old farmland of an uncle's. I don't know. I just feel like I'm by a big family tree, if you will. And it was over jealousy. And I believe it is the ex-husband, if you will. Mm -hmm. That's my take on it, you guys. What's your take? If you felt like this was a good investment of your time, please share the video. And then also, if you will, tap the like button. That will help others see the video and make our channel grow. I love you guys. Thank you for sharing your time with me. I do greatly appreciate it. And let's pray for justice for Rosemary Bly and Summer Moon Utah Wells. Justice. For both. What are the what are the chances? I mean, seriously. I love you guys. Oh yeah, I was gonna do it this way, see if this works. I love you guys to the moon and back. God bless you.